Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming and this is from the depths and I am on my little test bench or test little design area again. Um, been a little while since I put a video up, mainly work and uh, travelling a lot but uh, now I'm back to a, a, a being able to do a few more videos so over Christmas I've um, been playing a lot of uh, World of Warships and a few other games just as little bits and pieces but um, now time to look at some new ships and some testing so as part of the, the campaign um, I'm next going to be up against possibly some laser armed ships or I've got to defend my areas against some laser armed ships so I've been doing a little bit of mucking around and just thought I'd show some of the things I found out so what we've got here is the usual uh, test area with some test armor configurations and some other little bits and pieces just to show defenses against lasers. So let's just get into a situation um, where I can take control of the weapons first of all. I'm going to bring back the UI so we can see what's uh, happening here and come off there. So, First of all, I looked at armor. Now, armor-wise, you know, lasers go through armor quite easily. So the top corner there is two metal beams, which is my, my starting point, really, for armor. Now, this laser we're just using here is, let's see, 9,000 pulse damage, 66, so 66 AP. So it's, it's not a, a massive laser. You can see down the bottom here, um, there's a fair bit of power here. Um, but it's, it's nothing really um, extravagant, but it's a good t starting point. Now, if I can, you can see it goes through basically two blocks of metal, no problems whatsoever. Um, some wood, let's try against four blocks of wood. Again, not really a problem, it's actually going all the way through to the back there um, in that particular instance, so yep. No problems blowing that up. Then we got a, a slightly more configuration I came up with, which is using a bit more stone and wood, etc. Uh, we'll have a check down here. So that's that one down there. Again, took a couple of hit sh shots. Did actually defend a little bit better because similar to other HE systems, sometimes it's not the armor piercing lasers have such a high armor piercing there's no way you're going to stop it it's a matter of putting a lot of um health in front of it so that it can't get through your system or get through your armor let's try this one which is oops let's get in the right area so this is a, another one i came up with again eh, so basically none of these really stood up much against a laser I've liked this particular one here, some partially because of the air gap. Um, the metal at the front and the rear does stop against good, um, you know, HE and normal shells. And the uh, stone and wood acts as a protection against EMP and just adds a load of health to it. I think I, I think this could be a bit better. Maybe put another stone at the rear, but. Um, resource wise it was fairly good now how can we stop the um, lasers attacking us well there is a couple of ways of stopping lasers attacking you um, as we've seen this goes through very quickly now one is using smoke so what I've set up here is a simple ACB to and I come out of here just launch a bit of smoke there we go so every five seconds you can see straight away it, I got through but it took a lot longer to get through that with a smoke puff there now the smoke dispensers can be used in a, a couple of ways this um, is just put down um, anywhere and uses a control block basically to release smoke within a certain range. Now, the smoke doesn't last forever. Um, as you can see here, we've got reloading is one second. 
and then in five seconds it should start to pop again there we go so and it's a 40 seconds before it reloads again and it will reload if there is ammo and fuel available now the actual object is a smoke dispenser here and you can see this you know, material cost isn't too much um, but it uses 10 ammo and 100 fuel so that's quite a lot of fuel per deployment so you've got to have quite a bit of fuel and and ammo one of the options you have under the smoke dispenser is you can set at what point it will stop reloading when the fuel or ammo is too low so that you know gives the priority for the for the uh, weapons rather than smoke so we've got one smoke there which keeps going now the other one we can do is, is a little trick I've done is we can delay so this one's got a first delay um, and then this one has another delay of 10 seconds and then we've got this one with 20 seconds and this one with 30 seconds I'll just go back to here just to put that one so now we'll get effectively sort of full coverage in a 40 second window using four smoke dispensers so if we go back to my laser now and in some at the moment it's double smoke so that's nice and defensive against the smoke and you can see that that's working quite nicely To defend ourselves against the laser if you can keep that smoke going it's not a hundred percent you've still got to um, repair so if I take turn off repairs for the moment we can see but you see that the damage is significantly reduced by the um, smoke and when you get a double smoke like that or that might even be triple smoke it's significantly reduced okay so that that shows the um, the capability there now I will just disable all these so another way that you could use smoke and this is another idea I was working on is using shells so just if you've got a gun of at least 250 millimeter um, caliber um, then basically your gauge then you can use some shells now I've got a simple shell here which is just a smoke warhead it's actually a 20, 20 200 millimeter but I'm using a 250 but anyway uh, we've got a smoke warhead here so if we fire the smoke at a target where is my character I've got out of the way of the area there we go when it hits it's done a bit of damage but it also puts a puff of smoke out so what you can do is fire smoke at a target that is firing a laser now that means that its own lasers will now do less damage because it's having to shoot through its own laser to get at you so that can be a good way if you were to pelt a uh, target with lots of smoke then that could be a, a way to get a nice amount of damage you know reduce the damage by covering the opponent in smoke and another way I did it is with a slightly different longer shell is put a timed fuse on it and using the laser targeter you can have the shell explode a little bit before the target um, targets tend to if they're moving fairly quickly they will move out of the smoke that's the only disadvantage of this system whereas putting smoke up in front means that they will basically create a smoke cloud or a bank of smoke uh, so there's less chance they'll move out or it will still have an effect even if you, also if you don't hit the target it will still have an effect because it will uh, blow up a little early so that is um, a shell I've used in a ship which I'll show a little bit later another simple way is shields now under the shields shield projector projector here we have now the option to laser absorb 
and the way it works is it takes the damage a, fact, a fraction of the damage and applies that to the battery and if the battery is capable of sustaining it so for instance here I've got a very large battery if the battery can sustain that damage then it will reduce the damage the, the damage of the incoming laser now you'll look at the bottom here the current absorption factor the stronger it is the more percentage of the beam it will absorb so all the way up to 10 which is a 99 percent um, I think somewhere around four is a good strength you know 80 percent of the damage now I can't show this because uh, shields shields don't work to block your own damage so we can't use it in the test lab but I have created these little test ships and they also show off the other way of using smoke so basically these have shields and the laser warner now the laser warner is needed um, for something I'm gonna set up in a little bit um, the laser warner basically looks at any incoming beam of laser within about a 20 meter you know, 20 meter and then will can be told to as you see here automatically every x number of seconds deploy a smoke so it will then deploy these smokes so that's one way another way that it will automatically start deploying smoke as it gets hit so we'll just have a look at that I have set up a an example of these so that we can actually attack it using turrets so if I just load in an example so first target and I'm just gonna kick off so we're getting some laser shots going into it this first target is the armor only as you can see uh, yeah that didn't last too long it has repaired itself but the laser is and that's just the, that basic laser is going through that now it is repairing itself quite quickly and it is repairing itself before it dies totally so we just increase the amount of damage going at it but it is dying off relatively quickly with an AI dead so yep armor alone against lasers ultimately not effective right let's just prepare ourselves for another test so the next target is a smoke only it's only got smoke and um, it will use these detectors to say when to release the smoke so if we send again the small um, laser you can see that it's detected the smoke and puffed up a good bit of smoke now one problem here is it's only got two smokers on one side smoke dispensers so once that smoke has run out give it a second here you can see that it's certainly reduced the damage significantly that smoke until it disappears in which case now it's uh, going to be starting to get through and damaging it hopefully oh it's trying to go underwater and the smoke has, has come back up again so smoke has been effective did try to go underwater there which was wasn't always good let's give it the uh, more powerful laser as well the good bit about using the laser warners is it only puffs up smoke when something is um when it's an area is being attacked so the lasers around the back uh, the detectors because these detectors don't actually um detect anything they won't launch those smoke so yep the smoke has defeated the laser quite quite well actually it's done done its job um just as we wanted okay let me just turn this off and try the next one so this is a shield only uh, defense unit now it still requires the laser de 
uh, warners. Without laser warners, um, you can't. Uh, I'll show you what I have done, and I'll show you on this one over here. Is inside here we've got some control blocks. Let me just go into build mode so I don't jump around. So inside here we have some control blocks, which set and use the variable um, has the vehicle been attacked by laser which is under the laser attack now this only works if you have the detectors so if it detects a laser warning uh, first thing it will do over here um, is if it's detected anything in the last eight seconds it sets the shield to laser absorption whereas normally they'd be say on reflect or some other type of function it then also increases the power of the shield so if the laser has been attacked it increases the shields to one um, and then every now and again it returns it if the vehicle has stopped being attacked it reduces the shields to save power so that's the system I have got if we now give that a little bit of a uh, an attack we can see that in operation now, I've also made the shield change color so when it's being attacked the shield chain color now you can see the outside the bits that are, are not protected by the shield are still taking damage but they're like an ablative armor for want of a better word so they're taking a bit of damage but you know they're repairing quite quickly inside that the um, metal areas which are inside the lasers are taking very little damage and because and it's getting absorbed by the um, battery if we increase the rate uh, it's making its way through below the water actually which is uh, um, interesting but um, it is making its way through the laser and I think the laser the shields are now having a, a problem absorbing because there's so much sheer damage coming towards them but it's still managing to defend the unit quite nicely it's not gone through it like the armor only block that we had before okay so but it shows how that is working let's turn it off one more time so the final option is to combine the smoke and lasers so you can have a bit of smoke as the out external um, action point i.e. the uh, um, doing most of the defense initially so that smoke is quite happily um, blocking it and then anything that does get through the smoke will also then have to get through the the um, ablative and then the lasers it means you could reduce the power of the lasers to the minimum also quite often the 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 smoke is stopping the the damage getting through and the laser doesn't sorry the shield doesn't always have to activate now we're taking a bit of damage here on the external lasers absorbing it and the smoke has started to come up again once it's reloaded so the smoke is once again doing a good job of of reducing it even further so combining the two is very effective against lasers so how would it go against the enemy so what we're going to do is put up some different blocks and we'll see how they do against some lightning so we've got the four different types of target out the armor only smoke only shield only and the combination one they do help each other now what we do is i'm going to bring in some incinerators because these only use um lasers they don't fire missiles so it's going to be a test of exactly what we want assuming they don't crash into each other and uh, just destroy each other at this initial um start we'll see what sort of damage they can do to uh, these as a target so yeah our first target is gone into smoke mode and shield mode then they've gone into the other ones well let's see give it a little while let's just see how they do after a couple of runs so 
So the armor only block here is just about dead. It's AI dead. Um, it is trying to repair, but I don't think it's the repair in time. So that did not last very long against uh, those incinerators. So I've increased the number of incinerators attacking out there to six. Although one is stuck in the water. And the shield and smoke is, is standing up okay. Um, when they come in, it does take some damage, although they, they're t destroying each other at the moment. The smoke one, when its smoke is up, definitely gives the best defences. You can see with the smoke up, it's taking almost no damage and has time to repair. The shield only, when there's multiple units coming in, um, it does overload the battery system. And the, um, predictably, the um, smoke and laser is actually holding up quite nicely now. Uh, the enemy seems to be destroying itself gradually. Anyway, test is, is sort of sorted itself out in that, um, yeah, a combination of smoke and laser. Now I have got a ship, which I will just quickly bring in just to show. So this is the Neeland defense platform, which has got basically a lot of missiles for anti-air, um, some cannons, it's got smoke firing um, cannons at the front. This quad cannon at the front is actually got is four 250mm smoke and frag firing uh, units. So we should see that going up there that in front of the plane coming ahead is like going to be some smoke. Um, it's more effective against sea vessels as you can imagine. Then we've got lots of small guns as well, just for a little bit more close in. We're getting a load of lag, possibly due to damage and uh, just a lot of working out to be done here. Um, but it's got the combination of smoke, um, shields and the armour to defeat the um, incoming lasers. Oh, that at least is the uh, intention. It works reasonably. It's intended to work as a few of them together and purely be defensive. Um, it can take things out, but uh, it's more designed to defend an area and just last out the enemy rather than um, be offensive and take zones, etc. Um, but yeah, it's been relatively, um, it's, it's, really, it's expensive but it's uh, because of all the missiles, but it's, it's relatively um, uh, powerful. Anyway, that's it for this particular video about lasers and laser defences. Um, seeing how, you know, basically on smoke and shield defences against lasers and how they can be used and we almost we see this Neeland defense platform um, defending against the lightning hoods if they should try to take over the area uh, when we go against the white flares but until next time any comments or or, or about laser defenses please leave them in the comments below I will be doing another video soon, hopefully on um, possibly the cleanup of the Onyx watch or um, some new ships that I've um, um, I've been building ready for the white flares, and maybe there'll be a discussion on the the how you know good ships to take on the white flares um, as such. But as always, until next time, keep playing the game and have fun.